but just what's the what's the recovery been like for you? Uh, it's been it's been pretty good. Um, started off tough uh, with my first surgery, so I didn't really know how to what to expect. But it's been well. Uh, we're right on schedule, right where we need to be. Uh, the trainer's been doing a great job. I've been coming in every day, uh, doing all I can. But it, again, it's a, it's a slow process, and I have to take my time with an injury like this. So I'm just gonna continue to do what the trainers tell me to do. How difficult has it been for you to stay off of it? Um, not difficult at all, because if I'm on it too much, then it starts to hurt, and I don't want it to hurt, so I just uh, try to stay off it as much as I can. Try to do everything I can to help me be back on the field faster. You, you've been hit so many times and got right back up. Did, did you know right away this was different? Yeah, or? I knew right away, yeah. I kind of felt, it just, it felt different. Um, when my knee hit the ground, I felt a pop. Um, usually they ask me after you get hit and you're on the ground, they ask you, did you feel any pops or anything? And I usually say no, because I never do, but this time I felt one and I, I knew something was wrong because my knee was swelling up real fast, so I knew it was tragic. And after all the work you put in during the off season, how devastating is that? And very devastating. It was very, um, you know, detrimental to me, and my family, knowing that, you know, we worked so hard to get here and um, came off a good Orange Bowl win last year. You know, we had a lot of high hopes for the season. And to just go out on the first game, you know, it really hurt. But, you know, every athlete, you know, gets hurt. It's a part of the game. And I have to understand that I have to take the bridge with the sweep and just come back stronger. Did you even know that that type of injury was a thing? I mean, you hear about ACLs and all that kind of stuff. But the yeah, what you I mean, have is pretty unique. I, didn't, I, I, I never really heard of a patella tendon rupture. Um, but it is what it is. How did you... The process in the day or so after, like, how did you go about getting evaluated and getting the news? What was that? Um, the day after, um, you know, I was just, I was trying to convince myself that it was just a, a sprain or just something light, you know, that I could play through. But when doctor, when the doctor, you know, realized what it was, you know, he told me up front, and you know, we sat down and talked with Jimbo, and you know, they let me know the news, and just, and I started rehabbing as soon as I could. That's the only thing I really could do. Your Instagram video from a couple weeks ago where you spoke to the fans, telling them to be positive and everything. Have you been hearing feedback, of negative feedback or anything? Or? Um, not really. Um, I really don't have to hear, you know, negative feedback to understand, you know, what's going on. Um, we understand, you know, that we're not playing up to par, you know, as players, and we have to do a better job. But everybody just has to stay positive. You know, you can't jump ship. You can't really have a negative attitude when situations are going bad like this because that's not going to make them better. So just, you know, I'm just trying to harp on staying positive, you know, trying to keep everybody um, a level head and just continue to work. You know, James is obviously doing everything he can, uh, but there's been a lot of injuries on the offense, a lot of things have gone wrong. How helpless is it for you to watch the offense struggle? Um, um, really, you know, just me being a competitor and, you know, just wanting to play, it hurts just watching, especially from the sideline. and. You know, and just understanding the game and, and how things can be different. But I just, the only thing I can do is just do my part, control what I can control, um, encourage the guys the best way that I can, and just continue to be the leader that I can, that I can be. Auden was saying earlier that you've, you know, been out of practice and you've really been trying to help Blackman. Um, what have you been saying to him, you know, to get him, you know, back on track? Um, next play. All right, focus on the next play. Um, that's just, the, that's the most important play. Um, in, in, in the game of football, it's the next play. You can't really dwell on, you know, what happened before. Um, you know, just trust Coach Fisher. Continue to just do everything he tells you to do because it's for the good. So just staying in his ear, I usually try to talk to him, you know, when I'm on the sidelines, you know, um, you know, at the dorms. Uh, just whenever I see him, try to keep his spirit up, good attitude, and make sure he's not getting discouraged. Some of the stuff that he's gone through, do you, does that remind you of any of the things that you went through you know, earlier in your career? Of course. Um, you know, we all go through it as young quarterbacks. You know, you go through growing pains. Um, but it's just what comes with being a you know, top athlete at a top program. It's just you're just going to have to go through these growing pains. And actually, my situation was a little bit better than James Blackman because I had a year to redshirt. You know, I, I was in the playbook for a year. I sat, watched. He came in as a true freshman. You know, it's a very tough situation for him. So, you know. <clears throat> Just seeing him, you know, battle and you know have the grit that he has, you know, it just amazes me because coming from high school, playing at a prestigious school like Florida State, and going into battle without, you know, knowing, you know, a lot of the playbook because you just got here is really a tough task. No one really knows how hard it is unless you are behind the center doing it. So, 
on, on Tuesday. Yeah. How difficult do you think it would have been for you to come in and you know play right after you got on campus? Uh, very difficult. Yeah, very difficult for anybody. Um, very difficult for any any you know young athlete coming from high school and coming into a playbook that we have very complex, you know, very diverse playbook. It's going to be difficult for any player. You and Jock Buzz are obviously close, and you guys are coming to this year as a starting quarterback and tailback. Right. And now he goes down as well. How, have you guys talked much since he went down? And then, and also, just how's that been for you to see a good thing? Yeah, we Christmas? talk every day, um, and it's just, it's just, again, just trying to stay positive. Um, we can't really be sad about what's going on. We just got to take it for what it is. Um, you know, take it like a man. You know, you get injured. Now, what am I going to do to get back up? You know, you can't worry about how I got injured, why me. You know, you just got to talk about the hows and what can I do now. So that's what me and him have been talking about. Um, he's doing really well with the injury. Um, you know, Jacques is smiling all the time as usual. So it's just a, it's just a, a blessing to just be here. And now me and Jacques being juniors and I me being a redshirt sophomore, we see how important the game is. And how much, like, how much rehab are you able to do? Like, what, what all are you able to do a day? Um, really, uh, just trying to get my my power back in my quad. Um, you know, doing my calf raises. Um, you know, a lot of uh, hip and math to get the swelling down. Um, a lot of laser for healing. Just you know, all the stuff that goes on in the training room that you know they put put us through. But it's just the everyday process. You know, doing everything I can, not pushing it too hard, but at the same time, you know, still pushing myself. You know, every injury and recovery is different, but have they given you any idea of the spring football possibility or is it, are you working more towards the summer? Or? Uh, right now we're going week by week. You know, um, never really got surgery before. Never had a real big injury like this. So I don't really know what type of healer I am mm -hmm. when it comes to things like this. So we're just going week by week, you know, taking it slow. Um, I want to be back, you know, as soon as I can, but you can't rush an injury like this. No matter, you know, what type of player you are, you got to take it slow. Obviously, it's a tough situation, but have you been able to find any type of positives or anything you were able to learn about yourself that you can use to build on moving forward? Oh, of course. Um, I'm always a positive person. I like to stay positive. And, you know, when the injury happened, I was really hurt about it. But, you know, now it's just like using it as a positive. I go to schools. I talk to schools around the Tallahassee area, um, usually Mondays and Wednesdays or whenever I get time to just to see, you know, the kids smile makes me smile. Um, just to go talk to children and tell them to listen to their teachers and listen to their parents and do the right thing and they can be in my shoes one day. You know, to, you know, go inspire kids and show them my leg and, you know, show them like, wow, DeAndre Francois can even be broken. He can even be hurt, but look at him. He's getting back up. He's doing better. Um, you know, he's doing everything he can to get back to where he were, or where he was, or even better. So just to trying to inspire the youth. Where did you get the idea to do that? I was, I was just thinking about something one day, and I was just in my house, and I, I just, I like children. I like, um, you know, talking to people who are younger than me and educating. And I just always wanted to do it for a while, and then me and D. Coles got together. And when the injury happened, I was like, wow, this is the perfect opportunity for me to do something like this. So this is what it is.